Well, hello, I'm Randolph Miller, and welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. We have another wonderful segment here for you. We're going to talk about the Dream Girls Conference, Believing, Reaching, and Achieving. I have the right two young ladies to talk about it. Ms. Rosalind Fields and Ashante Ray. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Okay, well, Ms. Fields, let's, let's start with you because you're here every year to talk about the conference. What can we expect this year? Thank you for having us back again this year. This is our 10th year. Wow. Believe it or not. <laughs> I know. When we started, we just did not realize we were going to make it for 10 years. But this is our 10th year, and uh, we are expecting about uh, 1,500 people from mm. across the state and beyond. People have already started registering from all over, bringing um, their middle and high school girls to this conference. Um, and our guest speaker is Jackie Bruton. She's been with us before, and she is an internationally known teen relationship specialist. Mm. Um, and she will be in three schools in Charleston County to also capture those youth, who, uh, boys and girls, who will not be able to come to the conference. Okay, so Ashante, what is your role in all of this? So this year, I'm a co-host with uh, Alicia Tyler. Uh, Aisha. Mm -hmm. Aisha Tyler. And I'm also a peer leader and a volunteer, so I'm going to be everywhere this year. So how long have you been a part of Dream Girls? I've been a part of Dream Girls for about nine years now, but I've been co-hosting for about three, and I've been a peer leader for about eight. What is it about Dream Girls that you like the most? The Dream Girls Conference is by far my most favorite event every year. But with Dream Girls, it's like another family you have. You gain a sisterhood, friends, family. It's a bunch of fun. And all the events we do, like the Worth Beyond Measures we did over the summer and the conference we have every year, it just helps you, encourage you to be you. Mm. So Ms. Fields, um, believing, reaching, achieving, what is that all about? First of all, we try to get the girls, and we do a good job of achieving this, we get the girls first to believe in them, themselves. Mm -hmm. And then they have to reach for a goal. And then they have to learn how the steps to achieve those goals. And we surround them with a support system of people and resources and uh, motivational people, uh, speakers as well as role models so that they can have something to achieve and something to reach for. And our feedback is that we're accomplishing our goals. It says 10 years of dream girls celebrating you. What does that mean? We are going to have a huge celebration. It's going to be wild. <laughs> <laughs> Party time! <Yeah. laughs> we're going to have bands and we're going to have music and just on your feet. All about learning to love yourself mm -hmm. and finding things about yourself that you want to let people know. You know what? I like me, mm -hmm. and I'm going to celebrate me. So Ashante, when you first came to Dream Girls, um, what captured your attention the most? Good question. Honestly, it would have to be the music and the atmosphere. So usually when you go into certain conferences, concerts and stuff, everyone's hype, but no one's really into it. But with Dream Girls, you could tell everyone's engaged, everyone loves it, everyone's feeling it. So also about the breakout sessions. The breakout sessions mm -hmm. are more one-on-one -on -one, and it helps you learn better based on your age, what you're doing and how much fun you can have. So as a peer leader, what are they expecting you to do? As a peer leader, I'm expected to help girls through situations they have as well as lead by example. So let's say I'm having struggles with talking about something. As a peer leader, not only have, do I have to lead by example and push through it, but I can also count on the girls I'm leading to help me with the situation. So you all just have a wonderful time. Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, Ms. Fields, when the girls walk away from the conference, what do you all want them to walk away with? We want them to walk away with confidence. We want them to walk away being elevated to another level than when, where they were when they came in, L realizing that they are valuable, realizing that they are important, and also realizing that they are not alone. Um, this recent pandemic has really caused a lot of, of mental oppression 
for a lot of young people and older people too, but they were isolated and felt alone. We've been doing so many things f since the pandemic and f what we're gonna be doing through Dream Girls is to say, look, you're not in this alone. You got people all around you who are here to help you, listen to you, and to help you to get through your cr any crisis or any situations in your life. Your guest speaker, what is, what is her job to do at the conference? Jackie Bruton has been with us for several years, and as I said, she is an, a relationship, a teen relationship specialist. And our feedback over the last 10 years from the girls is that more Jackie, more Jackie, even when she goes into the <laughs> schools, the principals go, we want her back, because she's just got a way of reaching teens the way that I've never seen anybody do it before, and that is, to have them uh, teach them and show them how to believe in themselves. Um, and we always tell the girls, when you know who you are, mm. and that's for anybody, when you know who you are and you know who you, what you are really deep down inside, nobody can take that away from can't you. Take it away. No matter what happens in life, no matter what tragedy you go through, when you really, really are grounded in that, you're gonna always persevere. I see the letters YES, Y-E-S. What does that stand for? Youth Empowerment Services. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are about every day, empowering our youth. Now, what age girls are invited to this event? So it's middle and high school, but we are offering it off also to fifth graders. And the ages kind of range from whatever age they're in that. And it doesn't stop there. You can also be a volunteer when you're older. You can also always be a part of the Youth Empowerment Service. What about parents? They can be volunteers. They can just attend the conference if they want. <laughs> the Dream Girls Conference isn't just for the girls. It's for everybody that empowers and impacts the girls. And we also have a parenting, like she said, we have a breakout session just for parenting. This year, the parenting breakout session is discovering and celebrating your daughter's love language, learning how to communicate with your daughter. And we have a specialist coming in to do that. So you're telling me that uh, in order to sometimes communicate, Ashante, I need some special lessons, huh? Yes and no. So the lessons aren't to tell you you're doing something wrong, it's to help better guide you into being better and improving your relationship with your daughter or son. Mm -hmm. Now, 10 years of dream girls, what does that mean to you? Miracles. <laughs> because each year, it just keeps getting better and better. And people keep coming back and bringing mm -hmm. other people. And I give all the glory to God for that. Um, a lot of prayer goes into this. And um, we just are amazed by the changed lives. Uh, we, we have girls who have given um, us their testimonies that they walked in and didn't even want to come. Their parents drugged them there. <laughs> and when they left, they totally changed. Mm. They totally changed the people they were with. They started walking down a different path. They had goals, went, started um, looking at college careers. And when you, get, when you get feedback like that, you know that you have to continue. So you're telling me that dream, the Dream Girls Conference can really be a life-changing experience. Yes, yes sir. Life Was it that for you? Life-saving. <laughs> so with Dream Girls, it opened the door for a lot of things. Like, I would never expect to be on a TV set right now. <laughs> but it also helps you gain friends and places you would never realize, and it opens the door for a lot of new opportunities. Okay. So registration? Yes. You could register at www.dreamgirlsus.org or you could call 843-767-9969 and we will always answer the phone. And if we can't answer it, we will always call you back. <laughs> <laughs> but um, please come. The registration is only $20 per person and uh, we, it, it includes uh, giveaways, we're giving away cash prizes, we're giving, mm -hmm. and it includes lunch, snacks, Good food too. Oh, and it's going, to, we're going to have um, vendor booths and college from colleges, fun zones, just all day long, it's just going to be including the, the, the 
speakers. It's going to be so much fun all day long. Date, place, and time? Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church on Rivers Avenue. Uh, and uh, Pastor uh, Byron Benton is the pastor. And uh, the doors will open at 8.30 a.m. on March the 25th. And you don't want to be late because just as soon as the doors open, the fun's going to begin. Well, we thank you, Rosalind. And we thank you, Ashante, for being here on Bounce thank Around you. Charleston to talk about the Dream Girls Conference. Thank you. Okay, you, had, you heard it right here on Bounce Around Charleston, the Dream Girls Conference, Believing, Reaching, and Achieving. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs>